Hey PT for Studio Live today and welcome to day two of my complete a song challenge. And today I'm going to take you through what I've done so far. So if you've missed episode one, check out the link below. You can go back and catch up on that. But what I'm doing here is in the month of March here in 2018, I'm going to write, record, mix, master a whole song here in GarageBand on iOS using my iPhone and my iPad. So I've done the initial recording. I've got some found sounds, some nature sounds. You can find out all about that in the first one. I've got a bit of percussion. Today, I spent some time adding some instruments. And I've got to tell you, I'm not 100% happy with the direction this song is going. It is not what my original concept was. So I am going to show you what I've got because this is going to be a 100% honest up front showing of what actually goes into songwriting process. So I'm going to show you what I've got, even though I'm not comfortable with it. And maybe you can tell me if I should continue along or do I just scrap it away and start again. So join me as I take you through this next part of the songwriting process here on Studio Live today. Let's go. So here we are once again on my iPhone and this will look familiar if you watch the first video you'll know we have these tracks up the top here on the left and the right it's the same recording we've got our percussion in here but what I've gone ahead and added today is some piano some oboe some strings some upright bass a bassoon and an audio recorder, which is actually my vocals, which are embarrassing in their sound. So if you want to hear me embarrass myself, this is the video for you. What I'm going to do now is take you through the thought process behind what I did today and why I'm not 100% happy with it. And then maybe you can tell me, do I continue on this track or do I pivot and try something different? Because I'll be honest with you, what I was thinking was this was going to be more like we've got that slow big band start here and then it was going to kick in with some like do, 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 like some tom drums and be like a real sort of big band kind of horny jazzy kind of thing. But what we've what I've actually produced is something quite different, something that sounds I was going to say pop like, it's not quite a pop song but it's similar. Anyway, I'll stop yabbering yabbering yammering on and start playing this so you know the opening part we're going to play it from up here and you'll hear what i've added to this track now So there we go, that is what we have uh, for the intro part, and as I said, I've got my piano playing some chords there, I've got an oboe playing a bit of a, a lead melody there, I've got the strings here that are kicking in here, I think that's a violin or a viola maybe, I've got an upright bass, I've got a bassoon in there playing the lower notes, and then my audio recorder comes in here at the end. and. The way I write my songs, and this is the embarrassing part, is I don't have words yet. So the uh, audio recorder part is literally going do 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 do. I'm trying to write the melody, and then I fit the words around the melody. So someone in the comments on the first video said, uh, "Am I going to give some songwriting tips?" And this is probably my number one songwriting tips when it comes to writing lyrics for a song is that I don't write lyrics first. I write the melody line and I write the rhythm first. And this is something that is done by a lot of artists and a lot of bands. I think it was Aerosmith. I think Steve Tyler, the Aerosmith lead singer, used to hear an Aerosmith track and he would just go, he would just get out there on the mic and just go, da, da, la, 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 la. He would just sing the melody he heard and the rhythm that he heard and then he'd worry about the lyrics later. So it's not the way everyone does it, but it is the way I do it. So I needed to explain that before I play this section because as I said, this was recorded while I was commuting home today and it sounds pretty terrible, but you're going to hear it because this is what songwriting is all about. It's about sharing what I'm doing here, and this is my process, so let's have a listen. <laughs> Ooh, 
So that's sort of the first verse section there. So you heard the intro there that had a lot of instrumentation and then it goes down to the piano and a bass. Now I don't have guitars in here yet. I've got an idea for a guitar part that's probably going to be a day three thing where we're going to come back and overlay some guitars depending if I continue down this track. But at the moment we've got just the bass and the piano and the rhythm section and my vocals there. And then what I go into here is a four bar break where it's, I just want some probably spoken word type vocals. And this is what I have so far. Again, there's no actual words here, but just have a listen and have a look at what we've got here. It's for the birds. That's for the birds. Okay, so what I'm not convinced with is, uh, that was my hook, by the way. So <laughs> my hook is, it's for the birds. So that's kind of going to be the chorus, I guess, of this song. So what I've got so far is the intro, a little bit of a verse, a four bar break, and then the chorus slash hook there. And at the moment, I'm not convinced about the instrumentation and I think we need something more here. I think once I fill this out with some guitars and I'm actually not sure about this percussion track here because it's very sort of Cuban. Is that what it would be? Let's just play this. It sounds a bit generic and what I was really going for was more of the sort of tom drum feel like. So something more like that. So I'm not even sure if Isabella's going to hang around at this stage, but what I do want to do is get some sort of structure here in terms of what the chorus is going to be. So I, what I do like at the moment, I might be sounding a bit negative here. What I do like at the moment is the, the lead in, the slow build, the nice sort of crescendo there. We kick in with some sort of instrumentation there. And I'm, again, I'm not convinced on that, but once we add in some guitars in there, it might sound a little bit better. Then we've got our next section here, which is our lyrics, where we just sort of drop the instrumentation down to just a piano, bass, and maybe guitar through that. Then we've got a break there. And in the break, I'm actually thinking of some claps or some clicks. So let me play that now and I'll let you know what I mean. So if we go to here. <laughs> It's for the birds. So something like that. And again, this is all what I would normally do on my own in my songwriting process. So you are getting a glimpse into what I do behind closed doors. So I hope you appreciate that whilst this is a bit embarrassing for me, hopefully it gives you the confidence to say, hey, I do that sort of stuff too. And I sing to myself while I'm walking around and I start clapping and going, hey, this would be a good rhythm for this. And when we get to the end of the month and this is a complete song and hopefully it doesn't sound terrible, then you might be able to go, hey, I am going to go and do that myself. So that's what this is all about. I want to give you the confidence that anyone can actually make a song here. All I've done here so far is laid down some, some beats here with my percussion, with my smart drums. I've played some chords. Actually, I'll take you through what I've actually done here. So I've played some chords with the piano and... This song is in B flat major. So I've got the B flat, the E flat, and the A flat. I've added an F minor 11th, which is a kind of derivative of the A flat chord. And then I've got a straight F and I've got an F7. And they're basically the chords I'm going to be using. So this song is going to be da, da, da. Then with a bit of a da, then a Go away, low battery. Nobody likes you. And that's sort of the feel with, we have with the keyboard. So that's all I laid down here in the keyboard track. If we go back to here, the oboe here, I just sort of, that was the, I guess, the melody line that I put down, which was this one here. 
And look, I put an oboe there. That could be played on a guitar. That could be a vocal line. That could be anything. At this stage, we're really just playing with ideas. And that's the idea at the moment is that do, 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 to be the sort of theme throughout the song. Our strings here sound a bit like this. These are just some layered strings underneath. And then our upright bass sounds a little like this. And I don't know if the upright bass is going to stay again, but that could be the making of a bass line. So I could grab a bass guitar and do a doom, 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 doom. But again, this is all just what I've done today while I've had some free time playing with this song. The bassoon line is kind of like a, a lower, bassier instrument that I've thrown in here. So that is actually what leads us in. So I'll play it from here because it, you can see there's a note there that hits just before we come in to the main section, which goes like this. So that just does that da da. And once again, this might not be a bassoon. This could be some complete other instrument by the time we get there. It could be a vocal harmony. It could be whatever. But at the moment, uh, this is just me putting together what I think is going to sound good in terms of the different melodies, the different harmonies, the different sounds we're going to have here. So what do I need from you? Well, I need some help with this because I've got a few decisions to make here. As I said, I'm not convinced on Isabella here in terms of her. Do we want that sort of Cuban rhythm behind it? Do we just want something that's more traditional kind of? I mean, they're similar, but one just sort of adds that real sort of flair, which I don't mind, but is it what I'm looking for in this song? Not sure. Uh, the other question I have is, is this the right sort of feel for this song? So originally, as I said, it was going to be more of a jazzy kind of big band number. It's kind of gone, it's still got a little bit of that feel, but it's a little bit more poppy. So I'd be really interested to hear what you think we should do next here. And that's part of the fun, I hope, of this is that you can sort of see what I do day on day. Please let me know in the comments down below if you think there's things I should do and shouldn't do. Some of the suggestions I've had so far. So I'll finish on this. The suggestions I've had is I could sample this original audio recorder sound that I have here and use that through the song later on. I could bring that back in as a theme. I like the idea of that. And also thank you for the folks who did in fact confirm that this is a clarinet because uh, I was pretty sure and I did play the clarinet for a lot of years, which is a little bit embarrassing, but I never actually made my clarinet sound good like the performer in this one. Um, and hopefully I'm not breaching any copyrights by sampling this track. If anyone knows exactly what this track is, someone said it might be a Gershwin piece. Uh, if you know what that track is that was playing or the piece that was playing at the start, let me know. And again, uh, hopefully I don't get picked up on uh, on stealing someone's copyrighted material, but I, I think it's just cool. And the other thing I'm thinking of doing is sort of putting an effect behind this opening section to be like an old record player or maybe just cutting out some of the bass to make it sound like AM radio style before it kicks in. So it goes to like a really sort of thin, shallow sound. And then when our percussion comes in, it gets really full. So there's some of the ideas I'm playing with. Before I ramble too much longer, I'm going to say goodbye here. Thank you again for watching. Please put any suggestions, comments, or ideas that you have down below. And I'll see you in the next video where we'll have more on this track.